Hi, this is Albert with Mainland Cycle Center. Today I'd like to show you a pre-owned 2012 Can-Am Spider RT. This is one we just picked up and uh, really in nice condition. Of course the Can-Am Spider, three wheels, two in the front, one in the back. The RT models have uh, the extra luggage, so it has these kind of side saddlebags, we might call them, plus the rear trunk. This one also has an audio system, has electronic cruise control. Uh, you've also got a trunk in the front, a little storage, this pops here. We'll see if we can open that for you. Really great, big, comfortable seat. This is a heated seat, and it has uh, a couple different options. You can uh, uh, high and low heat. Uh, and then uh, heated hand grips back here for the passenger, which is pretty cool. Uh, pop there, it opens the rear trunk, and that's nice and deep. It's got a 12-volt power outlet in it. it. Opens your saddlebag. We've got all the manuals for it. Your other side, so two, two going to one on each side plus your trunk. Uh, passenger floorboards, those are adjustable, you can move them up and down. Driver foot pegs. Now they make a couple of different versions of these. Uh, this one is a um, they call the SE5, which is a semi automatic transmission uh, with uh, a five speed the 5 being the 5 speed, SE being semi-automatic with electric shift. And so you see you get here, you got a little positive, so you push there to upshift. Actually got a downshift here, but it, it downshifts by itself uh, as you decelerate it automatically downshifts. So you really only have to upshift uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, so on. Okay. Uh, one of my only things with one of these is that uh, it takes a little time to learn all the little idiosyncrasies of them. Uh, when you turn the key on, it takes about five seconds or so for the bike to become ready to go. It goes through this kind of thought process. You can see it's still doing that now. And we're still waiting, okay. And then once it does, it says read the safety card, which is right here. I don't think you have to pull that out anymore. So the early ones, you had to pull it out. And then uh, push the mode button. And then now it will start as long as you're in neutral or you push one of the brakes. Uh, you've got a parking brake here. It's electronic. Push there. That takes the parking brake off. And then now if we were to pop it here, it would go. Now if you turn it off and you don't set the parking brake, then it beeps. If you can push the button to try to set the parking brake, it won't do it unless you turn the bike back on and again you gotta wait and then set that parking brake and then turn it off and now it won't beep so if you don't set the parking brake before you turn it off it'll beep at you so like I said there's just little things like that that uh, take a little time to get used to and, uh, Got a little front storage compartment there. You can open it with the key or it has a push button on the uh, dash. Pretty good size. The windshield is electronic, moves up and down. I think you've got to have it started actually for that. Of course, I turned the key off. This one's real low miles. We'll take a look at those miles. We've got this on. 2,487 miles. Hopefully you can see that on the dash. Ooh. So that's pretty cool. Windshield moves up and down. The fuel fill is underneath the seat push on the ignition switch and pull it back that way and that'll pop the seat latch and then there's your fuel fill there. Battery is also under there. But pretty cool machine, you know, a lot of people they want to compare these to a two-wheeled motorcycle and I really don't think you can. It's not that one is better than the other, that this is the way to go or two wheels is the way to go. I think it just depends on what you want, just not the same. And uh, 
but these are pretty cool. They uh, definitely get some attention. People like them, the whole thought of them, and uh, definitely probably allows some people to ride who are not comfortable on two wheels. They are comfortable on these. But uh, And this one's really set up for touring. Uh, I have ridden these a little bit. Once you get uh, used to them, they're, they are pretty fun, and uh, they're funny, <laughs> you know, from the get-go, but it takes a little bit of getting used to, and you really just can't compare it to riding a motorcycle, in my opinion. But uh, anyway, this one's a really great shape. It's super clean. It's a 2012 model with just 2,500 miles on it. Uh, no real cosmetic issues to speak of at all. It could be a mark or a rub here or there, of course, but no real damage anywhere. Runs beautifully. Everything seems to work on it. I got all the manuals, the two keys for it. And uh, so if you're looking for one of these pre-owned, there's no reason not to come take a look at this one. It seems to be tip top. All right, that's a look at this 2012 Can-Am Spider RT. Uh, we are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45. You can find us online at MainlandCycleCenter.com, by phone at 409-948-4969. And we would just love it if you give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, come by and see us in person here at Mainland Cycle Center, where we'd love to help any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.